Hello, my name is Whistler, and today I'm going to be starting a new hardcore series. Why? I thought it would be a fun challenge. So what exactly is hardcore? Hardcore is when you only get the one life. After that, it's all over. The only thing you can do is spectate your world. So let's get started. New world, let's change that to hardcore season one. Change that to hardcore, and for the seed, I want something that links back to me, so Whistler's world it is. And I guess, just, let's get started. Don't you just love loading screens? Oh, I, 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 uh, I, I was not expecting to to spawn an amazer. That that is that 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 is quite intriguing. Does does this surround me? Am I completely surrounded? In no, there's a mountain over there at least. But in hardcore, this isn't exactly something that's desirable. You see, I need I need sheep for a bed, and at the moment, that, that is not a thing. I mean, I've got a desert over there, but there's no sheep there, and I've got a whole lot of ocean, there's no sheep there. I don't even know if I can get any good trees near me without having to wander for ages. So I'll just make my way back down, I'll head towards the, uh, the mountain over there, because there's likely to be some sort of sheep over there, maybe a tree. I'm sure going that way will solve most of my problems. So, ooh, I've gotten lucky. A tree. Now, I guess I'll just start punching away. Now, I'm going to actually save this one log, and because that is the first log. I'll stick it in a museum or something like that. And I'll split, create the crafting table. And then, let's make a boat, because I need to get away from this mazer. And let's just sail away. Now, I think I'll come back once I've found a suitable place to live. So I'll see you then, I guess. And about ten seconds later, I found this nice little lake. Lots of trees to get started with some sheep for my bed, and some bees! I'm quite happy about the bees. It means that I can, uh, I, I can get some good, get a good crop farm, I guess. So I guess what I'm, first thing I'm gonna do is sort out these bees. I've got one here. Is there another? There is another. So I want to get them back inside their hive, so I'm gonna put that flower there, and you know what? Let's breed them. There we go. No, I planted that. That that was a mistake. Which one was it? It was... It was that one. Okay. First achievement. Advancement, sorry. The parrots and the bats. Not the, the bees. Not... Hmm. Anyway, so what I want to do is to get them back in the hive. And then to stop them from coming out again, all I need to do is place a block on their front door. You see, bees can only come out of the one side of the bee's nest, but they can go back in from all sides. So, once they're all back in like that, I can just put that block there, and they'll never be able to leave again. Which means I can save them for later, they're not going to kill themselves in this water or anything like that. Now I need to... make my pickaxe. That's always a useful thing. Like so. There we go, wooden pickaxe. And now let's get myself some stone so I can make a stone one, because I really don't want to be walking around with a wooden one. It's not very good. It's very slow. Get out of the way, sheep. There we go. 
just like so. Three stone, that means a stone pickaxe. Easy. And now I need more stone, because I want a stone axe as well. There we go, I've collected the stone for that. No, that's, 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 that's wood. Oops. Right, stone. Stone axe. And I'm going to kill these sheep, because I want a bed. And that's all the sheep killed. So, there we go. Planks there, wool there, and a bed. I can now sleep the night away, which is very important in hardcore. Because once night falls and you don't have a bed, that means you're probably going to die. And given that you only have the one life... Ooh, sugar cane! Then, um, I'll collect that. And given that you only have the one life, then it, it's kind of important. Now, I'm going towards this mountain because there should be coal over here. In fact, I can see some in the top left of the screen. So... I need to light my, my surroundings up with some torches. So I'm just going to collect this real fast. And there we go. I've gotten plenty of coal. And now I think I'll head back, I guess. Actually, um, do I want more stone while I'm here? You know what? I, I think I will. I need stone for a furnace. So let's just go and get that. Ooh! I was on my way back, and I just found some iron. That means I can make some armor, which makes means that I am much more likely to survive this world. And, to be honest, I'd, I'd quite like to stick around for a while. So that is important. There we go, just collect that. Night is falling. So I've got to sleep. And I can't sleep. So, I'm, I'm just going to plant this sugar cane while I wait. Just like so. Come on, let me let me sleep. Let me let me sleep, please. Please. Please, just let me sleep. I'm going to turn around so I can't see anything. There we go. It's always a bit scary. When you're setting up like this. Now I'm just going to clear some of this forest around me a bit. I need the resources. Let's just make that furnace so that we can cook some of the meat and smelt the iron. And place it down like so. Coal in there and meat in there. Because I need food. I'm only on three hunger bars at the moment. Which means I can't run. So I'm, I'm just going to eat this apple actually. But that's a way to solve that. And now I'm just going to make a chest because I want to store my stuff. There we go. Just place it down like that. Just put all the junk in there for now. Now I'll take the coal and the sticks actually. And the meat is done. Let's put the iron in. And I am no longer starving to death. That would have been embarrassing, wouldn't it? And then I'm just going to swap the coal around there. I think it's probably more efficient if I keep most of the coal on me for stuff like torches. And then I'm just going to make more sticks, I guess. And more torches. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Two iron. Acquire hardware. It's not enough for me to make anything useful out of it, though. Now, another thing I need to make is a stone hoe, because I need to start a farm. So I'm just going to make that like so. And I'm just going to... Oh, this bed's in the way, so I'm just going to move that. Place it down just here. And I'm going to start hoeing the ground just around here. And now I need some seeds. So I'm just going to collect those. It's always a painful task because grass doesn't always drop it. And sometimes you're just smashing it for ages. I'm still not getting seeds. There we go. I've now gotten eight seeds. It's not much, but it's enough to get me started. A seedy place. And now my iron is smelted, so let's get started and make my chest plate. This thing is going to keep me alive. There we go, looking snazzy. And then what I would like to do now is to create more planks. Because I want a shield. There we go. That's going to save me from all of the creepers. 
they sneak up behind you and then they go tss. But what I would like to do is when that happens, I want to turn around, raise my shield and reduce their explosion damage to zero. And that is going to save my life, I know it. I'm not always going to have this shield there, once I've gotten some good armour, I'm going to get rid of it, because I, I'd quite like to use my offhand for things. And then I found this cave, as I was clearing my area. I think I'm going to explore it, see if I can't get any good, good loot, there's a creeper down there, that's not good. Just light it up a bit. Let's kill him. There we go, taken care of. Just light that up. It's a bit scary down here. Oh no, it's a ravine. I was, I was hoping the cave would go a bit deeper so that I could get some more resources, but I guess that's not a thing. Now I'm just going to let this skeleton free because I would quite like to kill him for his, for his bones or his bow or maybe an arrow. You know, the, the usual mob, mob drops thing. I'm just going to lure him back a little bit because... I don't want to accidentally knock him into the ravine when I start killing him. I'm just going to try and draw him back towards me a bit. Like so. Getting the advancement while we do that too. Not today, thank you. And there we go. It's probably good enough. Die, Skelly. There we go. Monster Hunter. Now I've got a bone. Now there's actually a wolf on the surface nearby. I think I'm going to Try and tame him. Be a good ally. Now I'm just gonna have his this call. Damn, my hip pickaxe broke. And I've just realised that I don't have a pick anymore, so I'm gonna have to punch my way out of this cave. That's a bit embarrassing. Oops. Now there we go. Oh no, it's night. Oof. But quickly now, quickly now. Punch. Run to the bed. Run to the bed. There's no mobs around. It's fine. It's fine. Run to the bed. All will be fine. There we go. Sweet dreams. Ah, good. Let's punch that. And plant it. And here's the dog. Love me! Love me, please. Uh, oh. Rejection. As always. I'm just going to have this the rest of this cove. Oh, oh, there's a skeleton there. Oh. Oh, they're fighting each other. It's fine. Just harvest this real quick while they're distracted. And there's some more iron. I hope this is enough to make some more things. Let's just mine that real quick. And it's, it's, it's just the one. Are you serious? Ah, oh, I was hoping for a bigger vein. Uh, uh, there is a cave here, though. Let's just light that up. I wonder if this will go any deeper. Just put a torch there, and let's go adventuring. Woo. Oh, it's a it's a dead end. That's 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 stupid. Now, one thing I'd like to also start making is a farm, and for that, I'm gonna make some more sticks, and then I'm gonna go and make myself a fence, a pen, an animal pen. Was it? I think I'll use two fence gates for per pen. It makes a lot of fence as well. It's a good way of keeping your animals in. Stop the dogs from killing the sheep and whatnot. Although I think the dogs have already killed most of the things around me. And where's a good place? Probably around here. I guess. Here, here's good. So I'll, I'll put the fence gate here. Uh, where's th where should I put the next one? Where is it? Uh, he here. Th that's good. Let's get rid of some of these flowers. And then just... Oh, there's ghost. Just place them down like this, I guess. The animals won't be able to escape, and there's 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 a block missing. Uh, don't mind me; I'll just mind that. Stick the dirt block there. There we go. All is good. Catastrophe has been 
stopped. Done! Let's get rid of that. Now, let's guide some cows in, I guess. Hello! Come with me, Mr. Beef. You too, Mrs. Beef. And now I'm also going to collect these sheep up at the top of the mountain, because I think the dogs killed all of the ones down at the beach. And they're all, they're all following me, that's good. And that's all the sheep in the pen too. That's good. I'm just going to breed these cows up as well. It's good to get started up with that. And plant more seeds, I guess. I'm feeling the need for adventure, so I'm going to head out on my boat into the sea and see what's around me. Maybe harvest some shipwrecks or something. And I've come across my first tiger biome. That's good. It means I'm going to get some spruce pretty early on too. I already had the oak and the birch. But now I've also got spruce. That's good. So I'm just going to stop over here and nab myself some saplings. Because we all need those. Those glorious saplings. I'm just going to chop this tree down. And it's the end of the day again, so I'm just going to sleep. Ooh, pillagers! I've got my eye on you. Don't make any sudden movements. And let me sleep, please. There we go. I'm just going to sail past these and give them a wide berth. Don't want to anger them. Usually I'd just go head on and kill them all, but I, I don't have that much armor at the moment. And I, I have a stone axe as my one weapon. And I found my first shipwreck. That's always good. And dolphins zooming around me. But hopefully there's some good loot in this. And hopefully I don't drown. I'm always a bit wary of shipwrecks this early in the game because I don't have respiration or anything like that. And I'm very likely to die. But here goes nothing. Let's go down. What have we got? What have we got? And we've got some paper. I'll take that. Some rotten flesh. I'll take that. Bamboo! That's good. And some armor. Oh, I'm drowning. Oh, oh, oh. Stop, 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 stop drowning. Stop, stop. Tor 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 torture, save me. Oh, oh. Oof, I'm glad the torch trick works. Up, oh, oh. Oh, lagging, lagging. Oh. Look how many torches I've burned through just doing this. Wow. Ten torches back to 30. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that's a viable trick to, to save your life, though, down there still. Just seek to replenish. I hope that's the closest I ever get to dying in this world. Let's not do that again. Just put that on. That'll save me later. And I found some sweet berries. Now these sweet berries are not the best of food sources, but they are an excellent source of emeralds. Because butchers, they only need 10. They only need 10 berries for until they give you an emerald. So I'll just grab those. And I found an underwater ruin. Just seeing how many drowned there are surrounding it. Is it dangerous? It is It is a bit dangerous, but there's, it should be doable. No one's throwing tridents at me, so that's good, I guess. Let's kill this guy. Hopefully he gives me his fishing rod. Come on, die. Give me your rod. There we go. Oh... Go away, small child. It's a shame that the fishing rod doesn't have more durability, but I'll just have to get over that, I guess. Put that there. And where's the chest? There it is. So I can't, I can't open it. So I'll mine that, mine that block away. There's something on top of the chest. Another gravel. Let's mine that. Oh no! I, I, I need to breathe. Scatter my breath. Uh, I need a, I need a shovel. Let's stick that there. And grab the mossy stone, because I like mossy stone. Get rid of the gravel. What have we got? A helmet! That's enough! I'm, I'm, I'm fully armoured now, actually. There we go. 
I have a good chance of surviving my world now. Which is always good. Now, I think I need a source of breathing for shipwreck, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna grab this magma block because it gives you bubbles. I'm going back to that old shipwreck because I didn't actually get a treasure map from there. So hopefully, if I go down there again, I'll find another chest and there'll be a treasure map inside. So let's just go down. Got my magma bot for air. And I'll just place that down somewhere around there. That'll do. And I'll just sit here for bubbles. No. Why, why am I... I'm still going down. I'm, dr I'm, I'm drowning. Abort! 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 Don't kill me! Oh! Whew. That That's another... That's too many heart attacks for one day. Oh, berries only give you one, one hunger bar. I need a better food source. Hello, cows. You're gonna become my food. Die. 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 Ah! I love the smell of steak. Now do I dare go down again? I think what was stopping that magma block doing its job was that there was a trap door above it. And I think that was stopping me from getting the air bubbles that I needed. So I'm just going to get rid of that. There we go. See, the bubbles have appeared. And I'm drowning again. But it's, it's okay now. It's okay. But do I dare go down again? Oh, uh, this, this shipwreck has proved very troublesome. But I think, I think I will do it. So, let's go for another attempt. Where are the bubbles? There they are. Take me down. There's a trapdoor there. So, let's see, were there any other chests around here? There was that one, but that's empty now. I can't see for anything down here. That's the thing about these underwater shipwrecks, is that you get down here and you can't see a thing. It's just so easy to drown. I might be able to light up the area just very temporarily with torches. And then the water will take them, but I'll be able to see just very barely see like that. So I think there's a door there. And my experience with shipwrecks is that there's usually a chest in the room behind the door. I can't help but notice that there isn't a room behind this door. So I think... I'm a little bit worried that the chest didn't spawn with the treasure map. Because it's usually in this room here. And there's no chest. That that's that's excellent. Screw this shipwreck. I'm out of here. It's not a good one. And it tried to kill me. Now, I think a good thing to do is to harvest the chests of the ruins for later. This is to stop making yourself think that you've got something to get. And I've found another shipwreck. Hopefully one with loot. But I'm not going to search it now. Because I've had too many heart attacks today. So I'm just going to take a screenshot of the coordinates. And I'm going to be on my way. I'll come back when I've got respiration on my helmet. Whenever that is. There we go. Screenshot. And let's head back home. Ah, uh, home sweet home. Just gonna plant these berries. Better start growing them now, I guess. Later on, I'll think I'll make a, a sweet berry farm, maybe powered by foxes. I think that'll be a cool thing to do. It'll be a good source of emeralds, like I said. I think butchers—they only take ten. It's, it's it's a good deal. If I turn them into zombies as well, then that, that's even better. It's even better. Now I'll just go over here and store the, store my my treasures from my trip, which wasn't really that much. No, I want that chest actually. I'll put that out there. No, not there. Bad placement. There. I wonder what the suspicious suspicious stew will give me. Will it kill me? Pluck that bamboo there. May as well start that farm. I found another cave. 
It's got a spider. Give me string. Give me string. I want a bow. That's some string. It's not enough string. But it'll do for now. Let's just slide this up. And I've got another cave with another skeleton. I want to sort of draw him out into the light. I don't want to go where other mobs could be. just want to take the skeleton on his own for now. Because if there's the... I don't know, a horde of zombies or a creeper around that corner. I don't want to fight them at the same time. So it's just... Oh, no, I've, I've thrown him back into the darkness again. Retreat! I love how useful shields are in this game. It's a shame that they cover up so much of the screen, though. There we go. And he's given me an arrow. That's useful, but I don't have a bow, so... That's... that's... that's something for later, I guess. Now let's just light up the rest of this cave. Got some more iron, that's good. More iron. And it's another dead end. These caves are really disappointing. And I, given how disappointing the caves are, I think I'll start my own mine shaft, like so. I'd quite like to make a, a bit of a large entrance. So I'll just... Oh, this is taking too long. I need a shovel. There we go. And now I've got the beginnings of my, my mine shaft. I'll just I'll just mine down, I guess. Torch there. I like to go three high. And because it, it means that I don't have to bop my head on the walls. And I've appeared to have dug straight into the cave I just lit up. That was very intelligent of me. Well done, Whistler. Well done. You're a genius. And there we go, I found some more iron. This is good. I'm very close to being fully armoured now. I'll just mine that away. I'll, and then I'll head back up to my base, I think. Smelt it. Get myself some RI and ingots. And should I go for... What should I go for? A helmet, I guess? I think a helmet would be useful. For now. So, yeah. Get rid of the gold helmet. Iron helmet. One step closer to being Iron Man. And I'll just put the iron, the gold helmet in there. And make myself an iron pick, because I can. I have the iron for it. It's better than a stone pick. Isn't it iron pick? Silverfish! Ah, I've picked the wrong location to mine in. I forgot about these things. And one thing... I like to do with silverfish, because I can still hear one, is it's very easy to find them just by tapping the walls with your sword. But I'm just going to light this area up because it's it's creeping me out, out a bit. I can hear a skeleton nearby too. I don't know where that silverfish is. Oh, let's tap the walls some more. No, I don't know where it is. Here's a cave. Just light that up. Oh no, it's another ravine. Why why do I keep finding these things? Ah, oh. Well, oh. It should have some more resources, but these are death traps in hardcore. So I'm just going to make this very, very safe right now. Because I don't know when a creeper's going to fall on me like that. Oh, I'm glad that was on the other side. I'm safe for now. I'll just make this more safe. Iron leggings! Woo! Iron Man! Yes! It's always good stuff. I'll put that in there. I'll save it for later. And I'm also going to make myself a bucket. Now this will also become handy in some situations. I'll be able to push mobs away from me. And it will save me from Enderman. All that sort of nonsense. Don't want to die from Enderman. I'll harvest that. I'll bring it down to the mine with me. Now, given that I had harvested all the resources in that ravine, all in the nearest vicinity, I thought I'd just go through and make myself some more of this gear. But it was taking a while, so I was just sitting next to the, the furnace, so I decided to make a time lapse out of it instead. And I'm fully geared now, but what I want to do is I want to make a nice composting machine. So to do that, I'm going to make some chests and some hoppers 
because there is a way to just put all of the the excess seeds that I've been getting from my wheat farm and just stick them into a composter and get some bone meal out of it. And that's just very good for early games. So I'll just make that hopper there. I'll dig that hole there. I'll put the output chest there. Put the input hopper there. Put a chest on top of that. No, not like that. Chest on top of the hopper. No, still not like that. I'll, I'll just put a dirt there, I guess. Put the chest here, and that will suck all of the seeds out that I put in there. It'll go straight into the composter. And I need to. I need more chests, don't I? I didn't make enough. That is an oopsie on my behalf. There we go. Crafting table. Two chests, because I need another hopper as well, actually. There we go, like so. And then I'll just stick these here. Put the output chest here. And the output hopper going into that chest. And there we go. Easy way of getting bone meal. Now, I found myself down at Y11 at last, and I'm just going to make a quick branch mine out of it. Now, I've just broken into a cave in front of me, but there was lava right in front of my face. I'm going to have to dig around it, but I just want to see what's in front of me. Got some redstone, some iron, there's a skeleton nearby. And he could just... I didn't know he could shoot me through lava. He's just set me on fire. Well, I'm glad he's dead, at least. What's, what's around me, though? Just get rid of this lava source, it's not good. Go away. Go away. There we go. Just let that run out. Now there are some resources in here, but I don't see any diamonds yet. And, oh, there's a creeper. I, I, I need to get away. I need to get away. Too many skeletons as well. Just gonna run away from that. Hi, creeper. No, I'm out of here. Out. Out. No, 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 no. Where's the skeleton? There's a skeleton. There's a creeper behind him. I don't... I don't particularly want to fight them at the same time. Let's just draw the skeleton out a bit. Ow. Ooh. Ow. Die, skeleton. He's given me a bow. That's good. How much durability does it have? Oh, it's almost dead. Oh, that's such a waste. I was hoping he'd just give me a free bow. And I'd be able to shoot some stuff. But unfortunately, it's not the case yet. Where's that creeper? Has he gone? I'm a bit wary now. I know he's there somewhere. Where is he? I could see him. I could... He was right there. Can I get up? No. 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 Come on, let me up. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Not there. There he is. There he is. Right, okay. Can't creep up on me. Hit him once, hit him twice. Oh no, he's, he's fallen down, he's blown up. Well, I guess that's one way of dealing with him. Going back down the cave again, trying to light the area up. Some more skeletons, though. Have I drawn him down? Please say I've drawn him down. I was hoping to fight them one by one. There we go. Die. Die, skeleton. Die again. He's already a skeleton. Must have once been living. I think another one spawned. But at least this is a good source of bones. I, I failed to get the dog earlier, but I might be able to get him now with all of the bones that these skeletons are dropping. This one's got an enchanted bow. Don't know what with, so I'm not going to let him hit me. There we go. Skeleton down. Three bones. Uh, that might be enough. I need another one, though, I think. Probably. Did I miss one? Ah, yes, I missed one. Okay, I'll just get that. Four bones. Hopefully, that's enough for the dog. I'm just going to harvest this iron as well. This is always good. I think this cave is safe now. I think so. Love me! Yes! You and my new dog. My loyal companion. I don't know what to name him, though. So, if you have any suggestions, just just let me know, I guess. Who's a good doggy? You are. Oh. Hello there. Uh, do you mind blowing up? I, I, I can't hit you. Do you. 
Do you mind exploding? Anytime soon? Come on, blow up, no. Ooh. Come on, come on. Just, 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 just blow up, you, you know you want to. Ooh. Come on. Ooh, ooh. Ah. There we go. Oh, he didn't do any damage. Now, I have been branch mining for a good three hours now, I think. And to show you, just give you a, a good feeling of how much I did, I'm going to slowly walk down my branch mine. And I'm going to show you how many diamonds I got at the end of it. Because I, I think it's it's a good... It, it's, 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 it, it's an interesting amount, considering how far I went. Going through some of these rooms, it's, it's, it's riveting, really. You know, I've, I've, I've re been really burned out just, just going through this mine. I need another way to get diamonds, I think. Because this one just, it just wasn't working out for me at all, in the slightest. And, do torches get rid of lava? Am I making that up? Oh, they do. That's useful. I might have to use that for something later, just to clear out lava, because I don't have much sand at the moment. But yeah, I, I want to show you just how many diamonds I got. You can see that there's no diamonds around me, so I, I've clearly... There's, there's, there's clearly been some sort of scenario going on. And unfortunately for me, that scenario was not that lucky in the slightest. You see, if I open this chest, no diamonds in there. There's a good reason for that. Just put the iron in there. And in this chest, there's no diamonds either, because I didn't get any! Ah, oh, three hours of branch mining and I don't get a thing. I feel destroyed and I kind of want to... F I, I kind of want to cry, really. I kind of want to cry. But... I think diamonds are supposed to spawn once per chunk, right? So I think if I just got really incredibly unlucky, then I could maybe force them to surface by mining out an entire chunk. So if I bring up the F3 screen like that, I can see where the chunks are on the left, but oh, it's not really an ideal way of seeing where they are, is it? How, how do I bring up the borders? Is it? So is it F3 and G? I, I think it is. There we go. Right, I'm just going to mine out this chunk real quick. And I'm back. The chunk has been mined out. And I still have zero diamonds. So that that's, that's a poor way to end the episode. I was hoping to end it with me getting a diamond, but it just hasn't happened. So that's always a joy. But this was, this was fun to do, I guess. So I'll see you all, hopefully, in the next episode where I hopefully get something useful. I might find some villages or something like that. But yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!